What is up, trucking fam? It's the trucking guy coming at you, ready to bring you guys some info today. This is your source for everything trucking. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, let's get right into it, man. Today's video is going to be about uh, how to build your trucking business credit. Okay. Um, I get this question a little bit, uh, basically people asking, how do I go about doing this? So let's jump right into it, okay? Uh, one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is go get your Dun & Bradstreet number, okay? Um, every When you set up an LLC, um, which you should have for your trucking business, whether you're an owner operator or whether you are, you know, you have your own authority or whatever you're doing, right? So you wanna go get your LLC, you wanna go get your Dun & Bradstreet number. To do this, you go to, I think it's dnb.com or just look up Dun & Bradstreet number. Uh, go to their website, you have to apply to get like a PIN number, set up your account. Um, and then you want to start getting trade lines. Okay. What are trade lines? Trade lines would be credit cards. Um, you know, anything that you can get on credit, whether it be like a line of credit, um, you can get things on credit. There's a few different accounts. You can look up like Uline, um, and a few different ones. There's tons of content and literature on YouTube about this stuff, but basically you go get these credits that they will basically sell you something on, you know, invoices that'll be 30, 60, 90 days payable. Right? So then when you get the bill, you pay that and they report to the credit bureaus, the same thing you would do building your own credit. Um, so if you have decent credit and you establish this Dun & Brad, you would go to your bank whenever you open up a bank account, a business bank account, and ask them for a business credit card. If you have good credit, you can sign uh, in the beginning and use, uh, basically just be a personal guarantor on that credit card, but it'll be a business credit card, okay? If you don't have good credit um, and you go to a bank and you get, uh, say, Wells Fargo, for instance, I think their cap is $25,000. You can do a secured credit card, okay, in your business name only. So if you have, you know, John's Trucking LLC, when you go open up your bank account in, at Wells Fargo or Bank of America or wherever for John's Trucking LLC, then you will basically ask them for a credit card, whether it be secured or unsecured, and you want to get that credit card in John's Trucking LLC's name, right? Because what that does is as you use that credit card and it matures, it reports to the credit bureaus. There's, uh, I think it's Equifax Business and Experian Business and Dun & Bradstreet, right? So Dun & Bradstreet are getting your Dun number, if you've heard that, or Dun's number, is just basically a number that is things are reporting to. And then you want to make sure that those accounts and credit cards are reporting to um, the credit bureaus, which are the business credit bureaus, not your personal credit. You don't want to use personal credit cards for your business. You want to get business credit cards, okay? And using these business credit cards, like you could buy fuel, you could buy food, you could buy uh, parts, service things, you could pay, you know, truck payments on these credit cards, whatever you want to do and pay them off as the bill comes due every month and create a good cycle. Now, as you do that one or two times, you're able to then establish and, and, and extend out to get more credit here, there, wherever with different companies, different credit cards, till you get one that maybe gives you 2% cash back or something like that on purchases or whatever type of card that you want to get that's good for your business or your company. Um, but you want to seek out and when you go to your bank, whether it be Wells Fargo or Bank of America or Chase or whoever, and see what programs they have available. There's other companies, other Capital One does secure credit cards. Um, there's many different ones, right? But you want to get with one. Um, if you have good credit, just go ahead and get a business credit card for your business and use that for your expenses. One, you have fraud protection, right? If you have a debit card that you're using out on the road, one, you've got to call, tell the bank, hey, I'm going to be traveling all over. I need you to take the limit, the uh, security limits off of it. Because what happens if you go to here, or there, or whatever, you're driving from Alabama to Vegas or California or something, and they see a lot of different charges going through different states, they'll shut your debit card off. And you might need money, you know, on Sunday or whatever, and you can't reach them or Saturday, and now you got to wait until Monday to get that whole situation cleared up. You don't want to be in a situation like that um, not to mention and it has happened to me guys I had a guy uh, get our um, card number one time for a debit card and they went to uh, five different Walmarts and bought like five thousand dollars worth of iPads really quickly uh, so it's a scam that happens all the time and then when I went to the bank they did give me my money back because it is uh, you know insured and they will go through that process and get it back to you but it's not quickly that process I think took uh, like three weeks for me to get the money back with a credit card, um, if you have a, a fraudulent, you know, purchase or whatever, they just basically shut it down right there, issue you a new card, um, and then they put that with the, you know, whatever investigations department, and they just give you the new line of credit back on your account as a fraudulent charge, and you don't have to worry about it. So you have protection, you have the ability to grow credit and, and have them reporting to your business credit to, maybe you want to get trucks later on in the, in the company name, maybe you want to lease trailers, you can use the EIN number that you get 
employer identification number if you don't have one of those you want to go get one um, but you should have that you should have an llc if you don't you need to go get these things guys llc business bank account ein number you need to get uh, start establishing your business credit so it's just like having your own personal credit only it's for your business so instead of using your social security number for your truck or your trailer that you're gonna buy or lease or anything like that you can use your ein number just like a social security number to go do these things okay so it's very important that you start building that today and if you haven't done it you get that established okay um so if you get this uh ein number and you get your llc and you're going that route you can then when you go to the bank ask them hey i want to start building credit what do i need to do do you guys have a credit card available do you have a secure credit card if you don't have good credit because if you don't have good credit they're going to want you to do a secure credit card that's your only line of defense because they're not going to give you a business credit card if you don't have good credit because nine times out of ten they're going to check it and use you as a personal guarantor for the first um initial uh, deal right after you have a few reporting then you won't have to do that you can just you know get capital one or uh wells fargo whoever to give you a credit card in your business name because your business entity itself will have credit um but like and, and also when you're going to buy trucks guys or trailers sometimes when you're buying them in the business name you might have to put a little bit more money down maybe 20 percent whereas in your personal name you may not have to do that but it shields you from any you know personal liability in the beginning i know um a friend of mine that has quite a bit of uh business credit established and he bought it uh the first thing he bought in his business name was a truck but he had to be a personal guarantor on the first one but now he traded that truck in on the second one he did not have to be a personal guarantor and he was able to uh just get it solely in the business name and on the business's credit but he had went through and built more credit more accounts whether you go to home depot lowe's these different places that you maybe not even you know need credit at those locations but if you get those cards they will report to the credit bureaus for you and you may get them and not even use them because that gives you the available credit right so credit as you guys know if you've looked into this if you have it you need to and you need to know these things but it goes off a few different factors debt to income ratio revenue um you know credit factors go into it of, of uh, credit card utilization and available credit balances so if you have a five $500 credit limit is all you have you're probably not going to get approved for a $50,000 line of credit why because you only have 500 and maybe you abuse it or don't use it or whatever so if you have say several different cards or different lines of credit or bank you know lines or loans reporting and you have say 50 100 150 250 thousand dollars worth of credit reporting that you maybe don't use or you use some of it and you're very responsible with it then you're able to get higher limits higher cards as time goes on but again it's a thing that happens has to happen over time guys it just doesn't happen lickety split right so you want to get started today if you're not doing that if you have an llc and you're an owner operator you can still get a business bank account um you can get a business line of credit a business credit card a fuel card you can get with any of these companies like wax uh fuel man fleet man you know all these different ones right that uh you can get basically fuel and then pay that off weekly but they will report um and you, you know there's just many different options guys you can get tire accounts you can get so many different things and if you are an owner operator and you don't have an llc yet and you're working for it doesn't matter if it's swift jb hunt schneider or a mom and pop or somebody like us you want to get an llc you want to get a business bank account have that company paying the business and then you taking a paycheck from that as a w-2 or whatever just to kind of establish a real business you get tax benefits as well as you can get these company credit cards um, and build that business credit so that one day if you do decide to open your own authority or open your own company and you need to go lease trucks or buy trucks or buy trucks and lease trailers or whatever when you lease trailers a lot of times they want a, a credit they want to see what your credit is but if you run it through the business credit and you've been establishing that good credit and you build that score up you're able to go in there and use that and not your personal credit so you should be working on your personal credit if it's bad but as well as you have a backup plan rather than you know if you have student loans and medical bills with the crazy stuff on your personal credit go start building your business credit by just simply getting your dun and brad number getting you know a uline account look up things on youtube on how to build business credit and then go through and get a, a secure credit card you can get them with bank of america wells fargo uh you know a couple different places right so look into that guys build your business credit build your business um let's do it man let's see you guys do it i want to see you do uh several million a year i want to see you get to five trucks if you really think about it guys if you want to get an authority or just you know build a trucking business within somebody else's trucking company like we have a lot of people that have two three four five trucks with us you know five trucks if they're semis the average is two hundred thousand dollars a year that's a million dollar a year revenue company you should be able to profit after tax somewhere around eighty to a hundred thousand dollars um have a freer lifestyle work from home or work from an office somewhere uh, and do things that you want to do and diversify and grow your business grow your life so it starts with building business credit 
and establishing your personal credit, but more importantly, business credit. Start today, get it done, do what you gotta do, know what you gotta know. And this is a disclaimer, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just a few helpful tips from the trucking guy. I appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.